What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. For today's video, we're doing an introduction to arpeggios. So let's go. Cool. So like today's video title mentions, I really want this video to be the basics or the fundamentals of arpeggios, right? And we'll cover it in two different ways. First way is we'll look at all of our no pun intended, major arpeggios, right? Major minor, major seven, minor seven, dominant seven, diminished and augmented arpeggios. And second, we'll look at how we can use the caged system as a roadmap where we can also practice these same arpeggios. So we'll look at arpeggios, how we can practice them, and then you're off to your own practice session. So let's go. So when it comes to arpeggios, especially in today's video, the basics of arpeggios, we have to understand that they are built off of three important notes, the root, third, and fifth degree, right? So when we're talking about major, it's the root, major, third, and fifth. And when we talk about minor, it's the root, flat third, and the fifth. And as you'll see, we may have a combination of both for seventh arpeggios, as well as diminished and augmented. So for today's video, let's start, right, in the key of G major. G major, notes being G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. So when it comes to spelling out a G major arpeggio, remember, root, third, fifth. G's our root, one, two, three. B is our third degree, one, two, three, four, five. D is our fifth degree, and there's our root, third, fifth, back to root. And there's your G major arpeggio. When it comes to G minor arpeggio, our notes for G minor are G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G. So again, root, third, fifth. Root, one, two, three, flat three, one, two, three, four, five, and there's our five again. Root, flat three, five, root. And there's your G minor arpeggio. So we have major, happy, G minor, sad. Now, when it comes to our seventh arpeggios, the core is the same, root, third, and fifth degree. And now all we're adding is the seventh degree, right? So if we go to G major seven arpeggio, very jazz voicing, right? Root, one, two, three, our third degree, B, one, two, three, four, five. Our fifth degree, D, and our major seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, F sharp. And back to G. Root three, five, major seven, one. And there's your G major seven arpeggio. So when it comes to minor seventh arpeggio, right? Same foundation, root third degree, fifth degree, but now using the minor scale to spell it out, right? So root, flat third, B flat, fifth degree, D, F natural, flat seven, 
back to our root. And that spells out G minor seven. Now when it comes to a dominant seven chord or a seventh chord, right? Think of it as a major scale, but with a minor seven, right? So to spell out G seven, root, major third, five, flat seven, F natural, back to root, G, B, D, F, G, root, major third, five, flat seven, one, and that spells out your G seven. Now we have our two wild cards, diminished and augmented. For me personally, not my everyday usage, right? But good to have a basic understanding of what those mean. Diminished, in its simplest form, is a minor arpeggio, but with a flat five, right? Root. Flat three, flat five, root. In its adult voicing, you can call it minor seven, flat five, which at that point you're just including root, flat three, flat five, flat seven, root. Pretty cool voicing. The next one being augmented. Again, not everyday use arpeggio or chord, but a modified major chord that has a sharp five. Root, major third, sharp five, root. And that spells out augmented. And those are our core arpeggios we should really have a good understanding for. Because then we can always add extensions to those, the colorful notes, right? So to recap, we have our G major, G minor, G major 7, G minor seven, G dominant seven, let's call it now minor seven flat five, and then finally our augmented. And those are our core arpeggios. So given our current knowledge on arpeggios, the next topic I want to cover briefly is how can we practice them? You know, the first way, essentially, how we've been looking at it from the beginning of this video, is taking it from, let's say, root position or our E shape of whatever chord you're doing or the key that you're in, right? G major. And then slowly, as you feel comfortable, add in that second octave. Let's say major seven. Dominant seven. Minor seven. Etc. Second, and this is more of an advanced way to practice, also helps you expand the fretboard, is use the caged system, right, as your foundation or roadmap across the guitar for different starting points. For example, we can do G major like this. Also, we can do G major like that. Let's say from our C shape, from our A shape, and then from our G shape 
all the way up here on the 15th fret. And you would practice that slowly for major, minor, major seven, minor seven, etc. The last way you can practice it to cover the most ground and to combine, you know, the cage shapes is by doing three octave. The same thing, but now three octave. So G major arpeggio three octave could look something like this. Let's say uh, G major seven arpeggio can look something like this. Three octave. Let's do G minor seven arpeggio three octave. Root, flat three, five, flat seven. You know what I mean? And you slowly not expand the fretboard only, but you get a really good understanding on how these chords are made. Well, all right, guys, that is today's video, the basics of arpeggios. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.